Hey everybody, it's Yusef for Dad's Free Time Game Reviews, where I review the games that I play when no one needs me. Today we are reviewing Space Channel 5 Part 2. Now if you should want to see the speed paint of this cover, or you would like to see the let's play of this game and not have to actually play it, those links are in the upper right hand corner. Space Channel 5 Part 2 is about a reporter named Ulala who reports the news on Space Channel 5. But also she's like some sort of secret agent that also stops people from messing up the world. And does she fight bad guys with guns? Does she fight bad guys with swords and knives? Does she rap battle? Nah, she just dances. Not only does she dances, but she basically plays horse with her dancing. You guys remember horse, that game where you shot basketballs with your friend? If your friend made the shot, then you'd have to make the exact same shot, and if you missed, you'd get a letter. And if you spelled out horse, you lose. So that's basically what this rhythm game is. If somebody does something to the song, you have to repeat them on beat to the music. And if you screw up enough times, you die. As Ulala battles people, she starts to free apostages who are being held against their will by the powers of hypnotic dance suggestion. And as she frees these people, they are absolutely free to dance however they want to dance, but they always end up doing the exact same thing that Ulala does. At least it's for the greater good. Now there's a villain who's trying to hypnotize everybody to make them dance the way he wants them to dance, and Ulala tries to stop him. And that's where your story takes off, all right? I enjoyed this game immensely. I mean, I enjoyed watching it a little bit more than playing it. So I played the game all the way through, but the first time I played the game all the way through, it started to irritate me because I was getting too anxious and it was throwing off my rhythm. But now that I've gotten older, I can kind of relax and get myself into the zone and just do what the thing tells me. I, I suppose it's because I'm married. I've learned how to follow directions without questioning them or thinking twice. But then after I played the games, I went ahead and threw up the Let's Plays for you guys. I gotta tell you, I actually enjoy watching myself play the game as much as I liked actually playing the game. Which is actually the reason why I threw up the Let's Play. But this one was really fun. The music was really nice and enjoyable. There are only a few times when I was confused as to what prompts they were giving me. And they have a crap load of extras. I mean, a lot. So apparently in every stage there's a bunch of secrets, but I didn't look them up. So I didn't do any secrets at all because the game itself is fun. I didn't want to mess up my, my feeling for the game by looking for extra secrets during the missions. I don't even know where you would see a secret to move towards it anyway. There is also a crap ton of outfits and extra skins you can get for Ooh La La, which includes, you know, all the people you save pretty much, except I didn't get any black people in my, my uh, skins, so I was a little irritated at that. I saved two black people in that whole game. I would appreciate it, if, at least if the guy with the afro was in there. And then when you switch out the skin, you still get Ulala's voice, so having a dude put into the skin of Ulala would, would still be a little awkward. There also is another mode in which you just kind of dance battle against somebody for their skin. It's kind of like a survival mode. One of the things that makes this game really awesome also is that Michael Jackson does a guest appearance in this game. And it's, it's funny because their rendition of Michael Jackson kind of looks like him, but you can also tell if you listen closely that Michael Jackson pretty much said all his lines into a phone, which is awesome. I mean, the game looks so Japanese anime influenced 
that I'm sure there is a Japanese version. I wonder if Michael Jackson did the Japanese words for that version, or if they hired a Michael Jackson sound alike to do the Michael Jackson Japanese. Either way, the game was fun, the music was fun, the gameplay was enjoyable, the story was nice, watching what you were supposed to do was entertaining. I mean, this game gets a lot of stars for me. Now, if you want to find this game, it's on Xbox 360 in a Sega bundle that includes this game plus Sonic the Hedgehog Adventure 1, which I didn't even play, and Crazy Taxi, I believe, is the third game. Can't really go wrong with that, right? You can also get it for Dreamcast if you happen to have a Dreamcast. I do not. And I'm sure with the Dreamcast, you can get the first one too, which, I mean, what the hell is up with that? I mean, they have two games, they're gonna hand you out part two. The first one they're not gonna give to you, you know? Like, I gotta look that up and watch somebody else do the Let's Play. It's messed up, man. I gotta find a Let's Player that has my winning personality. Anyway, thank you so much for listening. Check out the Let's Play, check out the Speed Paint. And while you're at it, go ahead and check out some other videos. Give me some feedback on those. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. You know, all those things that make YouTubers feel like they're awesome. And I'll talk to you guys on the next review, which I believe is where the wild things are. Schwoop-de-voop, free Mac Martin, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.